Like, I just knew, like, no one, like, no one's, there's no filmmaker who's doing that. And that, for me, became, like, all I was driving towards. How do I take a Harmony Corinne? Um, and then who's, who's Harmony's mentor? Uh, Justin, who's, who's Harmony Corinne's mentor? Larry Clark? Herzog? No, Her- Herzog. 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 Warren, oh, Warner Herzog. Herzog. Right, oh, yeah, right. It's, so it's, it's, it's. I was connecting more. I was like, I should be with those guys. The problem is those guys thought I was a sellout because I was still into like slow motion. But I was like, they're like, your slow motion is like music video sellout stuff. I'm like, I was like, bitch, please. Like, what are you talking about? Like. My slow motion is NFL films. That's as punk <laughs> well, rock indie film as it gets. Well, I, well, that's the thing is I always remember when we would always talk about indie film and it was like, you know, there were like the people in the boxes that you were supposed to be like, oh, I'm inspired by this person and that person. I remember you saying, guys, I'm inspired by Michael Bay. Right. Like I'm inspired by And you like, couldn't like, say like, that. I, I want my stuff and you couldn't say no. that. Oh, no. And no, you no. couldn't say that. I was right. like, what are you talking? So to me, I feel like that's why the music connection has always been so important to me. If you go back and you listen to the very first Nirvana album, you go back and listen to Bleach. And there's that one song called like something Zeppelin, Aerosmith. There's a, there's a, he combos, I forget what song it is. Jake will find it over there. It's on the first Nirvana album. It's like Zeppelin something something. And he's basically, he does a song where he's proving to you he could play like Zeppelin if he wanted to. He could play like Aerosmith if he wanted to. You know, and so to me it was like I wanted to do all those things. I believed those things could could coexist in the same category. Like you could go from handheld Jim Jarmusch, right, or to overhead top lighting like Bob Richardson with Oliver Stone to Michael Bay slow motion stuff blowing up. You know, I, I was like, you know, to a Tarantino dial. Like I just, I thought you could do all those things. And then there just really wasn't a, 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 I don't know. I never found a home in any kind of scene from a filmmaking standpoint. But I think that's the irony of it all that bands were always, the thing that influenced me and drove my entire business model. And then all of a sudden I kind of wake up 30 years later and I'm like, oh, I just created my own scene. Aero Zeppelin. Aero Zeppelin. Also to, have the, to also have the ability that you have, and I think I have two more questions, but to have the ability that you had to sort of be anti, I don't know if anti is the word, but you were anti kind of social media and then yep. to suddenly say, to, to publicly, like, to yes. sort of make it like a, a journey that we could all watch, saying, no, wait, no, 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 I'm going to just embrace this, yes. and I'm going to, you know, do it. And, yes. and, and so that I I really can appreciate and respect. Were, were you at all, when you did that, what was your thought process, like, as you're doing it? Like, or was it just, hey, I'm going to do it and then see what my thought process is? No, my thought process was this was it. If, if, if I don't do this, I don't have a career. Like this, this was it. I was like, this is it. This is my career 3.0. If there's even going to be a 3.0, this is it. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like this is, this was yellow pages and the internet just showed up. Right. And for me, it was that important. It's still that important to me. It's, I think it's still that essential for every creator, but it was realizing that this thing was now the removal of gatekeepers on every single step of anything you wanna do from putting out music to creating your own shoe line. The gatekeepers are gone, everything is available. I could start a company right now and have product drop shipping tomorrow. Like that to me was when we'd be on the road with bands and you'd pull over somewhere because some dude had the screen printer and you'd make 50 extra shirts for the next two shows. Right. All that is right. now on your phone. All that is now right there at the tip of our fingers. For me, it was like, if I don't embrace this right now, no matter what I want to do, not just as a creator or a filmmaker, or storyteller, content, whatever, if I wanted to be a teacher, if I wanted to be a consultant, if I wanted to be an insurance broker, 
if if I wasn't going to understand that the joke is going to be this this is still a joke. This is like looking back 20 years and realizing that there was a guy going you really got to get on this internet thing. The difference is is that social media came with the stigma of ego and pride and vanity. The internet mm-hmm. when it showed up was just a paradigm. That's understandable. There's a new paradigm but everyone thinks this is all about me, 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 me. You put out more films than any human being on the planet. And I doubt that the amount of films you've put out has increased your ego. It's, oh, I mean. It's not if, what it does. Anything, yes. No, no. Right. No. And so that's what I find with social media. And by the way, it's not social media. It's the Internet. We're not, we're not talking about social media. We're talking about the Internet. That's it. That's where every human being when is. You, when you talk about like the whole thing of the removal of the gatekeepers, and have you found amongst some of the creative people that like when you when you like express this or when you start doing it, like that you know that whole syndrome of people are so used to the gatekeepers and they're so used to asking for things. Did you, have you found like that there was like resistance to that? Like oh no no well you can't. Just because your whole career, Darren, has you been from you walking downstairs and your dad saying you're going to go direct something, and you're like, yeah, I'm going to go direct this yep. thing. Like your whole career. Is only you would remember. Only you would remember that story. Well, dude, I, I dude, hey, I, I'll just say it. I was going to save it to the end, dude. I loved your dad, and yeah. and we all did. Hartsfield, me, Isaac, we all loved him, and he was such a sweet guy. So, hey, thank love, you. Love yeah, I mean, he, I mean, he. I mean, he. I mean, he taught us. I mean, he trained us. I mean, my dad taught every one of us how to roll cable, how to set lights up. And he was, he was kind of our ghetto card, right? He was like, we could do whatever we wanted because Bill Doan was in the house. And if you don't think it's good enough what we're doing, he'll start dropping stories about working with Brian De Palma, right? Our Scorsese, you know, and he'll, our Fincher and doing seven. Like he was like for, uh, and he loved what we did. Like he loved well, what we did. Well, for him, a set was a set. A set yes. was a set, whether, whether whether he was working on Seven, whether he was working on Friends, or whether he was doing Unleaded with, you know, whatever. He didn't he didn't care. My wife, set Natalie, was, my wife, Natalie, still says it to this day to our kids. She still says, you know, Bill, Grandpa, didn't know what we were doing. We were making a movie. Making a movie. Yeah. Making a movie this weekend? You're like, well, oh, it's a music think- video. You're making a movie. You're making a movie. Well, I think, that, I think that you have a lot of that. I think for you, and I think like with social media, but even before social media, there, for you, it's always been there's there's something going on and I want to record it. And I think that you've never just looked at people as people. Right. You've looked at them as, hey, everyone's special and I'm going to show that. And I think that that is contagious. And like that's the thing when I look at like your social media stuff, I'm like, he's making these people into rock stars yeah like and it, it, it's it's, Isn't it, very, it's very it, impressive i i just it's really cool i mean later in life i came across a writer named gk chesterton and he just had so many great quotes like things like you know that there's no there's there's no uninteresting people just uninterested people right like and that and i that kind of made like and i don't sometimes you're just wired certain ways i always joke like i'm I think everything's interesting. If someone said, "Hey, it's a campaign for these sugar packets," I mean, I'm, I'm, let's go! Like, I'm like, this is okay, I, you know. And but, but you had that same spirit too. I think that's why we just, we, it's, it's really interesting because I think that's the thing I still connect with, with people and artists, even the most like liberal, crazy, woke, whatever, whatever we call this. Like, like to me, I never bought into it because. Even something like Jason Mraz, like he's gonna check every box on what people would hate if you're a conservative. <laughs> that dude is a monster. That dude's ready to outwork you. That dude is ready to create for 40 hours straight. That like, and that's what I always connected with with bands, artists, people like yourself. It's like if we're gonna go make something, I knew that with guys like you. No one's quitting. There's no quit. If you're in a band, there's no quit. We get in the van and we go. There's no quit. And that's that to this day is still what gets me so excited. Is like I just want to be around people that there's zero quit in them. 
And this next kind of stage of my career has been working with business owners and brands and CEOs, and I get that same punk rock vibe from them. If anything, I get to help shake them a little bit and be like, be the dude that started this company. When there was no rules, no marketing budget, no ROI, no, let's just go break things. With all those hardcore videos that you've done, whether it was Stripe, whether because you did a video for Snapcase, right? I did, yeah. Typecast modulator? Like, like, was there something in that that you were, were you, because I, I remember you trying literally to make the video look like how the song felt. Yes, yeah. Yeah, that, that was, yeah. That, do you feel that you often achieve that or that like, I'm only, I'm only asking just, just because a lot of that music asks a lot of you just in terms of it's, 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 you know, I'm saying when you're into that, I mean, you've been to the yeah. shows, you know, you know what yeah. that music, like how powerful a snap case show, how powerful a stripe show is, powerful a far side show. Like it's, it's the only, yeah. it's the only category. And I think maybe only bands would relate with this. Um, when I step on the set with a band that's about to play hard, a metal band, a rock band, a punk band, I don't believe anyone's better than me. If it was a show, you are gonna beg to not have to follow me. Just like I know every one of those bands, when they got to the stage, they believed nobody could outwork them and outperform them. When it comes to music videos of the performance category, I just don't think, I just, like again, I, I don't, I don't think you're, you're just, it's, it's, I'm a different beast. I'm a different beast when it comes to that. There's plenty of other people who are so much better than me in so many categories, lighting, style, editing, all that stuff. But, but, but the performance video of a band performing I don't know, man. I just, it's like talking to a band. If, if you talk to a band, like, I don't know, I think we're okay live. Like, no, dude, come on. Like, you're a band, you take that stage, you believe that no one is, is gonna, you leave it right there on the stage. I walk onto the set with a band that's gonna be performing. I am matching them. I'm gonna leave it all right there. That's the only, it's the only my, my only legacy of punk rock and hardcore that I got to be a fifth member and be a part of the scene in some way, shape, or form was, if it came to making a music video, it's, I just think, it, I just think, I think I'm a different beast. Only there, only there. 